Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question today is for the Attorney General. Speaker, we on this side of the House have a deep respect for the important work done by law enforcement professionals. We know that they are heroes keeping our communities safe. Yesterday, the Minister for Community Safety and Correctional Services introduced a very important piece of legislation, Bill 68, the Comprehensive Ontario Police Services Act. Speaker, the Liberals also had a piece of policing legislation, Bill 175. It was, plain and simple, the most anti-police legislation in Canadian history. I know that our hard-working minister and the Attorney General listened to our men and women in uniforms and worked tirelessly to get this bill right. Our police deserve nothing but respect for the work that they do. Would the Attorney General please tell us what frontline officers are saying about this government's proposed changes? The Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the member from Mississauga Centre for her question. Our legislation will, if passed, provide transparency and clarity to police officers, police chiefs, and to the people of Ontario. I'd like to let you know, Mr. Speaker, what Rob Jamieson, the president and CEO of the Ontario Police, Provincial Police Association, has said. The work OPPA members do every day keeps the people of our province safe. Unfortunately, challenges in the current legislation make it more difficult for the police to do their jobs. The changes proposed by the government intend to empower police across Ontario to ensure community safety. Mr. Speaker, our government is committed to keeping our communities safe and to giving our frontline officers the tools that they need to do their jobs. Supplementary. Merci, Madame la Ministre. Thank you, Madam Minister. I'm happy to hear that our government for the people listened to the concerns of all our police officers. I believe that this bill is uh, harmonized, is uh, respectful. I know that the policemen and policewomen in my community in everywhere in Ontario will be happy about these changes. I was uh, concerned yesterday when I heard what was uh, happening in the investigations, if this people uh, could not stop a suicide attempt or if they try to save a life by administering a first aid. I'm thinking of this courageous people who uh, faced the Danforth shooting. On this side of the house, we know that our police officers have all the right training and risk everything so we could be, in sa we could, we could be safe. Can the minister tell us how these changes will improve conditions for our police officers. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to be clear. Our government knows that women and men in uniforms are everyday heroes to give more transparency and clarity. We have a special unit. We will concentrate our investigations where we need it, meaning on the criminal activities within a service which is transparent, efficient, and fair. This bill will make it clear where there is obligation to uh, say something, such as when there is force used or there are really there is a death and when there is also someone who has been harmed and when there is a sexual aggressions. This bill meets the needs of all the Telic judge's recommendations and his independent investigation. Thank you.